Hi guys, this is my first attempt at doing a bit of a setup tutorial uh, and the aim of this is to help people setting up a high-tech Aurora 9 transmitter with a DJI Phantom. Just a quick look at this box that I've got. I'll just get my receiver out. There it is. High-tech Aurora 9. Uh, get the phantom out. Obviously the blades can stay on it. I've dismantled most to this already. My four batteries. Just a quick look at this box that I'm setting up. Just going to put some other spots in through here. In this second layer for the GoPros. And then in under here the transmitter, charger, some spare blades, cords and so on for the balance charger. I only take that when I need to. I've got a proper charger at home and my Fat Shark Attitude SD goggles, which I'm still setting up at the moment. But on to this. A couple of things about my Phantom. I've got a, a gimbal, which I haven't put on. I'm just using the rubber mounts to stop the jello, which seems to work really well. Um, you can actually see the two aerials of the Optima 9 receiver coming out through the bottoms of the legs there. I've actually got this other lead coming out of that leg there is for my Fat Shark transmitter and then over here I've already pre-wired and set up two survey lead extensions for my gimbal and that way I don't have to keep dismantling it. Now in under here I've already dismantled it all just so that as I said before, saves a bit of time so I can talk a bit more about what's going on inside here. We have the Optima 9 receiver. You can see you buy these survey leads for about $7 on eBay here. And I actually use channel 1 for the A on the NASA. Channel 2 is E. Channel 3 is T throttle, channel 4 is R rudder, and the U, the U on the NASA there goes over to channel 8, and that's my fail safe. Um, I'll talk a bit more about that in a minute. See a couple of little things here as well. You can see here's the Fat Shark um, battery balancer up in here, already wired in. I've actually taken, there's the cables there for my gimbal, already wired in as well. Uh, nice and neat down and out through the leg there. I've also wired in where the other leads were for the auxiliary that come with the Phantom already. I've taken that off and resold it on another lead here, which is this one, which comes around here to the SPC on the Optima 9, which gives me telemetry back to my radio on the Aurora and lets me know what battery voltage I have. So here's the standard receiver, as you can see, single aerial. I should be able to get a lot more range out of the Optima 9 with this um, in here. You can see I've also got the Another, that's the lead there that comes up to the fat shark here so that when I plug my battery in I can actually plug it into this as well and hide it all away nice and neat. Alright, so on to the Aurora. Let's power it up. Yes. Oh, throttle down. Still gives me that warning. Okay, so a couple of things here you can see I've wired into the heli. I already programmed it into the heli page, named it the Phantom, so I can run multiple radio control units like one of my other toys. Offshore cat there with a Zenoa quick draw in it. I can wire that in. I use the same transmitter as well for that. So a couple of things now. Let's just get on to this programming and show you. So I pick, press the heli there and I'll show you in system and channel 
and it shows me what channels. See channel 1, aileron, channel 2, elevator, channel 3, throttle, channel 4, rudder. So J1, J3, J2, J4. Another thing is, folks, here in Oz we do most of us use mode 1. So I've actually got the throttle on the right hand side over here. Um, so that's what this is basically helping you set up. Uh, 5, 6 and 7 are null. Channel 8 I have auxiliary 4 and I've set it up to channel C. Oh, the switch C which is my 3 position switch up here. And then also channel 9, auxiliary 5 to channel uh, the D, switch D. The other thing here, quickly I'll go back and just show you here another thing I like about the Aurora in a minute it'll show you battery voltage for my Phantom up here but it also gives me countdowns, a couple of timer options here and I've actually programmed one of them into the G switch here and I can flick that and you'll see here it starts counting lets me know basically how long I'm in the air for or even more clever is timer 2 I've set it up for the throttle so the moment I give it any more than 6% Throttle, so ready, up, and that timer starts to count down from 10 minutes. You know, with a GoPro and everything, Karen on the Phantom, 10 minutes of flight time is actually not a bad flight. Uh, I've actually programmed that, lets me know as well but how long I've been in the air for. Okay, back to setting up. Now into the EPA, let's go through to page 2, channel 8, I've got plus 84%, minus 85% on the endpoint adjustment, so the EPA. Now our programmable mixes, this is the one here that we need to set up for our fail safe. Auxiliary 5 on programmable mixes 1, auxiliary 5 I'm mixing with auxiliary 4. So let's... Um, go into that so it's selected there let's select it here and in here you'll see I have a rate of plus on the plus I have minus 50 on the negative I have negative 1% so I'll show you a bit more about that once I plug it into the actual um, NASA system now the other quick thing reverse I've actually reversed my channel 8 which is the auxiliary 4 that is this three position switch here I've actually reversed that switch and that way it will actually make a bit more sense when I show you once we plug it in to the computer so let's fire up the computer and plug in the phantom Okay. Just for a sec. I'll show you in here. And away we go. As the fandom comes to life, you'll see over here. I'm position this as best I can get rid of that now as you can see up here on the three position switch I'll quickly with so the moment I move these we go to the basic page onto RC up here and receiver type is a traditional receiver type the other thing to do folks is to do a quick calibration on all your toggles as you can see the moment I move any of these my throttle throttle all the way up all the way down I've done all that calibration I won't waste your time with any of that um, now just going to show you the moment I move some of these programmable mixes what actually happens because so, as you can see right now the moment I toggle down I go from GPS mode to attitude mode to manual mode 
back attitude GPS and at any stage if I get in trouble all I do is simply press my switch D up there and it will take me to fail safe mode and it tells me even though it's off the page up there it tells me I'm in fail safe mode down here fail safe now that can happen in any of my GPS attitude I press the other fail safe again back to fail safe and same as manual in the manual the moment I press that I go to fail safe and it'll return to home I've got all what all ticked as well but just to show you quickly on here how to set that back up that's the P mixes remember auxiliary 5 mixing with auxiliary 4 we select that and then minus 5 now let's just have a bit of a play with that see if I go up there and I start playing with the top button you see that button start to move and now the moment I toggle my three position switch I'm out of the parameters that I need to be in so let's leave all my switches up go back to where I was 50 I'm back in the parameters the moment I flick down to go to attitude or manual and then fail safe I'm into fail safe the other thing you have to do with the Aurora 9 and the Optima receiver is actually now program this to tell it what I want to do so what we want to do into fail safe I need to program the fail safe let's go back with that back out and back out okay now it throttles all the way down at the moment let's bring the throttle up just to below halfway okay now the other thing we need to do is toggle down on our fail safe it shows me down here I'm in fail safe now press and hold the link button down until the LED goes off there it goes another two seconds and release not with something too sharp all right so now that's programmed this is programmed as we know let's turn the phantom off turn this off and that saves all the settings guys so once again it gives us the same warning let's go back to off with the fail safe let's turn the transmitter on I'm going to accept ready to transmit it's telling me obviously that throttles on down with the throttle plug back in the battery okay that's letting me know that the phantoms come to life and now if we have a look up here now if I've got a bit of throttle on let's say we're flying and all of a sudden I lose transmission from the transmitter and to the receiver to the phantom while it's in the air let's turn it off there we go goes to fail safe down the corner there fail safe transmitters off let's turn it back on and oh, back off again there's the good thing about whoops sorry about that there's our voltage shows me the voltage of the phantom as I explained earlier I hope this has helped any of you that want to set up an Aurora 9 with either an Optima six seven or nine receiver in your phantom uh, i hope this helps you and you get flying and can enjoy a, a fantastic transmitter and all the rest of it and go and have some fun thanks guys enjoy